The cars in Fortnite have been nerfed substantially as of late, but I've still noticed that especially in ranked matches, cars are everywhere during late game. This can be incredibly annoying. So I dropped into a ranked match with the goal of destroying as many of the cars as possible. Could I possibly force an end game without cars? Let's find out. I immediately pushed the machinist whom I found roaming near Lavish Lair. I grabbed the medallion and the boss car and set off to destroy every vehicle in my path. I hit the fuel station between Lavish Lair and Rebel's Roost and destroyed both the gas pumps and the vehicles parked outside. I then started cleansing the woods from the ridiculous number of cars parked along the road. I rotated to the underworld and blew up several more unsuspecting vehicles there. Since the latest nerf, the boss cars don't heal automatically anymore, so I took a quick break to bring my car back to full maintenance. After that, it was back to work. I destroyed several cars at Sandy Steps and continued the carnage, <laughs> carnage throughout the desert. While attempting to heal my car, I was assaulted by another player, but sadly, Peabody was caught in the crossfire. An unfortunate casualty, Peabody did put up a good fight. There was no time to mourn the fallen legume though and it was back to business destroying cars parked at the bridge gas station ship at express and all around mount olympus there was something very satisfying about destroying every car in sight but even more satisfying was chasing down people that had the audacity to use a vehicle i mean didn't they get the memo that we were supposed to be boycotting the cars this season it took several attempts, but I finally got the message across that this endgame was supposed to be car free. I was actually shocked to find another person driving a vehicle. I'm not sure where they found it, but after a couple bursts from my machine gun turret, I was confident I would not be seeing them driving a car again in this match. It was nearly endgame, and I was really surprised at how many cars were left. But I guess when you start with well over 100 vehicles scattered across the map, the odds of finding a car are pretty high. I destroyed the last few cars I could find, and by this point, the circle had gotten pretty small. I sat back and enjoyed the scenery of people actually rotating on foot. It brought me back to the good old days of Fortnite. My work here was done. It was officially end game with only four people and zero cars. Well, except mine, I suppose. I decided to donate the boss car to another player and then proceeded to eliminate the rest of the lobby. I felt good about what I had accomplished. 23 destroyed cars and a sweet, sweet victory royale. Subscribe.